if you cast your minds way, 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 way back, you might remember this bad boy. This was a Tower 500 water-cooled system that our builder Nick put together a long while ago and he has been consciously avoiding taking apart ever since. Until now, we finally yeah. lured him into the studio today to take us through how to tackle taking apart a water-cooled system. So, let's get on building. All right, Nick, what, what's the first step? What are we going to do to start off taking this boy apart? Uh, yeah, look, well, first, obviously, panels have to come off. Um, yep. And then after that, I'm going to kind of just play it by ear. Okay. And if I make a mess, then I make a mess, and there's nothing really I can do about that. Past Nick wasn't really thinking ahead, like, oh, how am I going to drain this? He was just like, yeah, just put it together, whatever. Like, future Nick can deal with that, right? Yes. And now, and now, and now future yeah. Nick does have to deal with it. So where would you have normally put the drainage, uh, like port, when if you were actually doing this? If I actually did this properly? Properly. As low as possible in the loop, so then I could have just opened it up and it all the water would have just, just come out. Come straight out. I didn't do that. Um, I blame hey. Jono, he didn't tell me to do one either. Like, there were, <laughs> there were two of us there at the point and he never suggested it, so. Yes, obviously it's Jono's fault. And he's not here to defend himself, so. Exactly right. I've inserted some spare soft tubing, it looks. Yes. Yeah. So this is actually an idea that Justin thought of Big brain. back when he was here really? a very long time ago. Oh. So I have to credit him for this. So what I'm hoping will happen now is that I can simply tip this in some direction. Okay. I'll plug up the end with my finger. Yeah. And then if I just slowly loosen this, air will go in and the water will come out of this. Not crush my tubing. Oh, there we go. We got some liquid. Are we there. getting some liquid? Oh, we are. We've got some movement. Oh yes, Nick's three brain cells are working hard. Ah, but see, here's what I was talking about. Where I think the. Come on. There's not enough. No. Nope, oh, there. hey. And now it's just like siphoning fuel out of someone's petrol tank. Hey, okay. look at it go. Yeah, the problem is, is that uh, eventually this is going to stop. Okay. And then. And then what? Well, Sarah, um, <laughs> then I guess we lift it up and we rinse and repeat because I'm hoping I can get the majority of the water back into the reservoir and then just keep And then just keep going. Over and over and over. Yes. Go, Nick, go. Oh, your brain cells worked over time today. So, kids, this is why it's important to include a drainage port in your loop. Isn't that yeah, right, Nick? kids. Don't do what Uncle Nick did. Very intense. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, genius. All right. Moment of truth. Yeah, look, hopefully this will actually work and I haven't just wasted like the past five minutes. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we see some movement. Hey. Must be the money. So then we'll just swap over to the other port on the top of this radiator and then hopefully that should drain out everything in here. Mm -hmm. uh, getting water out of a graphic card block is always kind of difficult just because the way that um, it's laid out, you can't really force water through there and water doesn't want to run through it naturally. And then you Indeed. have this section in the middle here that water doesn't want to just run through because it's very restrictive. So yeah. that's why you got to force it through the pump. But what I'm hoping is that we can at least get the tubes empty. Yeah. And then any water left in here, I can always just empty it like out afterwards. That was totally planned by the way. Not at all, <laughs> not at all an accident. All planned. 100%. Alright. Some real nice ASMR water sounds for sure. But that is, yeah, basically everything out. Yay. Um still obviously I've got to have that paper towel around everywhere when I actually pull the whole thing apart just to make sure. But that is basically everything. And that took like what, two hours as opposed to like five minutes with the drain port. That's why you put a drain port in there, kitties. Use your drain ports, everyone. Yes, don't don't be like past me. He was a very silly boy. Uh, there was probably some like green left in there from when I drained another system. So uh, obviously it's now mixed in. Like, mmm, lovely. Delicious. Delicious.
and my job is done. See y'all later, mate. Done, boy. <laughs> 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 <laughs>